Deals with the devil end up bad, no matter how hard you try to set up a fair bargain. I learned this the hard way, and now I'm a monster. Everything I love so dearly has slipped through my hands. The thing is how it's supposed to be. I was supposed to have her. I was supposed to have her. I was supposed to be happy with her. Now she's gone, and all I have left is this stupid piano. I'm compelled to play it for the rest of my goddamn life. I was a wild man. I had some money, a nice house, and a nice car. Also had some charm, or the number of room. Oh, the number of women I had seduced in my bed. I could have any woman in the world, but I had sights set on her, Alice. She was such a beautiful woman, her rich brown locks, flowing in curls, and those amber eyes. I cannot describe her beauty with mere words, though I was not her type of man. I swung from girl to girl, she preferred to stay in a steady relationship. I left a life of luxury, and but yet she was content with living in a small urban apartment. I loved pop music, but she loved the, the sound of, class, of a classic piano. She didn't know of my existence, and that drew me to her. She was something I could not have, so I wanted her so badly. I decided the best way to get her attention was to learn how to play the piano. I knew most people would have try just tried talking to her or something, but that didn't seem right to me. I wanted her to admire me, idolize me, so I tried, but I ultimately failed. Apparently, I didn't have the hand to the so I had no musical talent at all. I decided to talk to my friends about this. Of course, they laughed at me, telling me I was stupid for trying, but I, wanted, but I really wanted her. The only way I could ever get her was if I knew how to play that damn piano. And my friend said something that made me think, Don't you think all those people with talent sell their souls to the devil? I knew he was joking, but what if, what if there was a chance that, that I could sell my soul for this musical talents? She'd like to have me now, right? Like, like me now, right? I started to do as much research as possible in summoning the great demon lord himself. Of course, there were rumors telling me not to, bad things will happen, and yada yada. I decided to hold the ritual at midnight. It seemed like a good time, and no one would interrupt me. After the numerous incantations, nothing happened. It seemed like a good time, no one, and no one would interrupt me. After the numerous in bleh, sorry. While nothing seemed to appear at first time, there was something there. I was, it was invisible, but I could tell it was there, so I asked to make a deal with it. It snickered and laughed out, but agreed. I would have musical talent, it would have my soul in exchange. All I had to do was sign the contract, simple enough, but that was the thing to do. That, was, that thing was huge, kind of like in the terms and conditions I simply didn't read and signed at the bottom. I soon learned that I should have read it. Then I was stupid. Was I stupid? The, as devil promised, I was amazing. I had so much talent. I could read and write music. It sounded so beautiful. I kindly asked the local theater for it to open the doors to allow me to play my beautiful, less chilling songs. And su surprisingly, they agreed. I remember I was so nervous on the performance, on the night performance. Would she even be there? I couldn't see her in the crowd, of course she wouldn't be here. I was an amateur, I prayed for hours and hours, but to me it only seemed like a few minutes. I have to admit, it drove me to the bones as I simply stood up and bowed to the audience. But there was silence, cold silence. Was what I played not good enough? A sudden crack brought me back to reality. I looked up and I saw her. She was the one clapping and soon others started to join her. She, we had a little after party. She came up and began talking to me, telling me how much she admired and enjoyed my performance. After that night, we kept in touch and talked almost every day. But as we kept talking, her voice, I could hear her getting weaker and weaker by the days. Then when the stories kept coming, that people started dropping like flies. People that watched me play. These 
this kept happening. I couldn't do anything about it. I hoped desperately that what was happening to Alice wasn't my fault. It wasn't that what happened to others, but, Al but alas, the poor girl died in her sleep. Doctors didn't find anything wrong with her. They're not sure about the case. They simply said she just fell asleep and didn't wake up. I was devastated, and I still am. The one I love, I finally got her in my grasp, and she just disappeared. I decided to confront her, this damn demon. I'm ha I make him tell me what the hell was going on, so I summon him. Somebody didn't read the contract fully, huh? The thing just laughed at my misery, but it was right. I didn't read it properly. I didn't read it at all. I asked to see the contract, and it actually, it happily obliged. I read the whole thing this time, and that's when I noticed I hereby give the client amazing musical talent, but the music that he creates will bring misfortune to all those who listen, including death. I was the cause of her death. It was me. I wanted to stop playing the p any piano. I didn't want anyone else to suffer under my hands. So if you ever wander around an empty theater, then see on stage a lonely pianist sitting at his piano, playing a beautiful but chilling music. Cover your ears and calmly walk out. Do not say a word and do not listen to a full song, or you'll just end up like the rest of them, dead. <laughs>